What's going on everyone? Lucas here from Optimistic Bricks. About two weeks ago, a viewer reached out to me on Instagram and asked if I'd be interested in purchasing some of their minifigures, to which I said, absolutely. And after some negotiations, we came to an agreement. And now I have a package full of minifigures and we're gonna unbox these right now. This package did come all the way from Sweden. So it did take a little while to get here. And because of that, I've kind of forgotten what minifigures are in here. So some of this is gonna be a surprise for me too. All right, so this is quite a big package, as you can see. All right, here we go. Nice. Whoa, that looks... Is that a Band-Aid? <laughs> that looks like a Band-Aid. Oh, man, I am seeing some really good stuff in here. go oh wow this is this is very very nicely packaged i really appreciate this oh man all right so it looks like we got these labeled by theme so we got ninjago star wars um oh i think okay a little extra all right we got okay so this is just a mix of some more random stuff what do we got in here oh some weapons and stuff some accessories some head pieces. This is great. I mean, this is this is fantastic. All right, so I got everything laid out here, and uh, let's get right to it. We'll start with the um, start with the Ninjago. Actually, you know what? I kind of want to start with this. I'm I'm really curious to see what this is. All right. Ooh. All right. So we got Count Dooku lightsaber hilt and blade and some serpentine staffs. And that's not all. We have, I believe this is Levertus from Chima. I think that's his name. All right, and then we also have two green lightsabers. And there's still one more figure in here. Ah, uh, what is this? What is this guy's name? It's like right on the tip of my tongue. But regardless, those are some super nice extras. All right, so I grab one of these base plates so we can put the minifigures on it as we unbox them. And I also brought a container to put some of these loose pieces in. Speaking of loose pieces, I'm gonna open this one right off the bat. Cause it looks like some of the parts in here are gonna be used to complete some of these other minifigures. Put this over here for now. So starting off with the Ninjago bag, let's do it. Oh. Man, this looks awesome. All right, so right off the bat, we got one of these Serpentine Generals. I believe this is the the wrong head for it. Um, I see this one here. I believe this is the correct head for this minifigure. But I knew that going into buying it, so these are both super awesome. Let's see, can we fit them on the stand somehow? I guess we'll just have their, uh, their tails hanging off like that. And then speaking of tails, we also have Hi Thor, and this is the 2012 version, I believe. All right, so we got our three snake generals. Oh wait, you know what? Make that four. We got scales here. On second thought, I'm gonna leave these guys off to the side because they take up a lot of space on the base plate. So we'll stick these guys back on there. All right, next up we have a serpentine from the Hypno Bribe tribe. Pretty cool minifigure. All right, then we have a Garmadon. This is the one with the four arms. It looks like they lost one of the black hands and replaced it with a green one. And here's his helmet. It was in the bin with the uh, extra parts. We got some skeletons here. All right, so this one is obviously incomplete, just missing his arms. I knew that going into buying it. So that's all good. I'm gonna put him off to the side, but these two are totally good. All right, and with more skeletons, we got Samukai here, really, really cool. You know what, I'm gonna put this guy off to the side as well because he kind of fits weird on the base plate with the others. All right, looks like we got a Sensei Wu here. This is the Sensei Wu in the black and golden robes. Looks like we got his hat here. I'm not sure if it came with the tan hat or the gold one. I don't know, but we'll throw it on anyways. And for Ninja, we got Kai and Cole. This Kai obviously is built wrong. It's got Zane's head and the wrong hood piece. And these shoulder pads should not be there. And we also got Cole ZX as well. You know what, I kind of feel bad about not putting the other skeleton on there. We're gonna put him there as well. All right, we got some more snakes. We got one from the Constricti tribe and the Venomari tribe. These two look pretty sweet. Then we got a Lloyd from Rebooted. He's got a little dent on his head, but 
that's all good. And then we have one more snake, and obviously he's missing his headpiece. You know what? I think this hat here goes on this skeleton right here. There we go. That's what he's supposed to look like. And then lastly, out of the Ninjago bag, we got a stone warrior. And I believe these are his shoulder pads. So we'll go ahead and throw these on right now. All right, so we just need to get a hat for this guy and he is good to go. All right, and that is it for the Ninjago minifigures. All right, next we're gonna open this one. This is just a mix of a bunch of different themes. So this should be pretty exciting. So let's address the elephant in the room or the dinosaurs, I should say. You know what, in my entire years of collecting Lego, I don't think I've ever had a Lego dinosaur. All right. Ooh, cannot ignore these guys. We got rock monsters. Power Miners was the very first theme that I ever bought Lego sets from. So I have a lot of nostalgia for that theme. And who does not like rock monsters? These guys are awesome. Looks like we have a hammerhead shark villain from Atlantis. His hands are different colors. I'm not sure if they're supposed to be black or gray, but I'll take care of that. We got some more Chima here. I believe this is Crawly. Here's a Raven from Chima. He's got a hook for a hand. That's pretty cool. Obviously he's missing his headpiece, but not much I can do about that right now. And uh, his wings make him a little weird to put on the base plate, so he's going off to the side. What is this guy from? Or girl, I should say. I have no idea what this minifigure is. I'm gonna have to do some research on this one. All right, we've got another minifig here. Um, I highly doubt this is correctly built because he's got yellow hands and uh, he's got the skin tone for the face. I don't know what this guy is either. Um, this one here, uh, I believe this is Aaron from Nexo Knights. I never bought any of the Nexo Knight sets or I never really got into them. We've got his helmet right here. So pretty cool looking minifigure. We got these guys here. Ooh, we got a, a Count Dooku it looks like. Maybe they accidentally put him in here because he should be in Star Wars. We got a Indiana Jones figure, but uh, that is not the correct head. All right, we've filled out this base plate. We're gonna have to start another one here. All right, then we got a farmer of some kind. I feel like I recognize this from somewhere. I don't know what it is though. And here we got a, a mummy. All right, and that's gonna do it for this bag. And one thing you guys should know about me is I like to save the best for last. Next up, we got Star Wars. Cannot wait to check these guys out. Oh man, this is awesome. All right, so we got an astromech droid here. I think this is, is this from the Death Star? That is pretty awesome. Oh, we got another astromech droid here. Um, I think this is from the advent calendar. Yeah, it looks like he's got some snow detailing on him. He's got the carrots in there. And I think this minifigure usually has a top hat. All right, we got a Hoth Rebel Trooper here. Nothing too special about this guy. We got some more Christmas minifigures here. We got Santa Yoda and Santa Darth Maul. We got a Gungan Soldier. I think these guys came out in 2011. Looks pretty good. All right, we got some some troopers coming up here. We got the Bomb Squad troopers from 2011, I believe. Uh-oh, that is not the right head. I think I've got an extra one of those anyways. And then here we have the Old Republic Trooper. I really regret not getting this battle pack because I always thought these troopers looked so cool. I never knew the helmet stuck out like that. That's kind of cool. Oh man, we got some General Grievous action here. Ooh, and these are the tan ones. These ones are not as common. So this one is fully complete. This one's missing some limbs. I'm gonna put these off to the side. We got some more troopers here. We got the Clone Wars version of a 212th trooper and an ARF trooper. I'm pretty sure this is the wrong body, so I'll have to see if I can find a uh, the correct helmet. Because I think it's a special printed helmet that goes with the torso, but yeah, these are super cool. Especially this 212th trooper. This is probably my favorite so far. Here we got a battle droid commander. Pretty standard, nothing too special about this guy. Although I think his arms are supposed to be switched. There we go. We got a snow trooper here. Very nice. Although I think he's supposed to have gray hips, but I think I have an extra pair of those legs. Ooh, and we got the Clone Wars version of Padme. Nice. I know this only came in one set, which was the Malevolence. And this is a Death Watch Trooper. We got his helmet right here. Very nice. These guys are so cool. Mandalorian minifigures are always just so cool. Whoa. 
We got a uh, TIE fighter pilot here. Pretty standard, nothing too special about this one. And then this looks like it's some kind of first order officer and uh, he's missing his hat or hair. I don't know which one it came with. I'm not really too big into the sequel movies, so this figure is not really sparking my interest all too much. But this last one most certainly sparks my interest. This is the Clone Wars version of Ahsoka with the brown jumpsuit. This one only came in two sets, and luckily we do have her headpiece. That's awesome. And that is it for the Star Wars minifigures and all the minifigures in the package. All right, everyone, and here are all the minifigures all in one spot. We got the accessories over here. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this haul. And although there are some incomplete minifigures, there are definitely a few good gems in here. Some of my favorites are the 212th Trooper and Ahsoka. This Padme minifigure is really cool as well. And some of the Ninjago snakes and the skeletons, and especially these Serpentine Generals look really cool as well. All right, guys, and that's gonna put a close on this video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more content, and I'll catch you soon.